An acid is a substance that produces H plus hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. A base is a substance that neutralizes an acid to form a salt and water only. An alkali is a soluble base that produces OH minus hydroxide ions when dissolved in water. Neutralization is a reaction between an acid and a base to form a salt and water only. A salt is the compound made when the H plus ion of the acid is replaced by a metal or ammonium ion. An acid plus a metal will give a metal salt and hydrogen. Acid plus metal oxide or hydroxide will give a metal salt plus water. Acid plus metal carbonate or hydro hydrogen carbonate will give metal salt and water and carbon dioxide. An acid and a base will give a metal salt and water. Insoluble salts are made by precipitation reactions, whereas soluble salts are made by reaction with acids. Group 7 negative ions, the insoluble ones, are silver, Ag, and lead, Pb. The insoluble sulfates are lead, Pb, barium, Ba, and calcium, Ca. The soluble bases are the group 1 hydroxides and carbonates, group 1 and 2 oxides, most metal oxides, hydroxides and carbonates are insoluble bases. In titration, if it is a weak alkali, use methyl orange. In titration, if it is a strong alkali, use phenolphthalein. When ammonia reacts with an acid, it does not form water. A litmus solution is an indicator. In acidic conditions, it is red. In alkaline conditions, it is blue, and in neutral conditions, it is purple. Blue litmus paper in neutral will have no change. Blue litmus paper in acid will turn red, whereas red litmus paper will stay red. Blue litmus paper in alkali will stay blue, whereas red litmus paper in alkali will go blue. Phenolphthalein is colourless when in a neutral and acidic solution. It is only pink when alkali. Methyl orange is red or pink in acid, orange in a neutral solution, and yellow in an alkali. The difference between a strong acid and a weak acid is that a strong acid fully dissociates in water, whereas a weak acid only partially dissociates. Examples of strong acids are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, and nitric acid. Examples of weak acids are ethanoic acid, carbonic acid, and citric acid. Examples of strong alkalis are sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and lithium hydroxide. And examples of weak alkalis are ammonia, potassium carbonate, and sodium hydrogen carbonate. Most salts are white except some transition metals. To prepare copper sulfate, add copper oxide into the sulfuric acid until it is in excess, where no more bubbles and solid is left unreacted. Then, filter out the excess copper oxide. Heat the filtrate until crystallisation starts via indirect heating. Allow the rest of the crystals to develop at room temperature, and then filter out any excess filtrate and dry the crystals in a warm oven or between filter paper. If adding an insoluble base to an acid, such as copper oxide, the acid must be warmed beforehand. In titration, use a pipette to put a set volume of alkali into a conical flask. Add a suitable indicator. Add acid from a burette while swirling the conical. Record the volume of acid required to neutralise the alkali and then repeat and heat the solution until crystallisation occurs before letting the remaining crystals appear at room temperature.